Hello everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth. Welcome to another day of our 12 days extravaganza. This is gonna be a fun um, custom gift idea. Now you can do a lot with this. I'm gonna do something that's kind of trendy and fun and maybe something you've seen out there in pictures on Pinterest and things and never really learned how to do it. But then I'm also going to give you guys a whole other twist with something else we're gonna be doing with our scrapbooking attitude or um, it's also called craft attitude, jewelry attitude, all the different attitudes. Um, and this is from the craft attitude company and it's awesome and I have a pack of this just for you to give away as one of our bonuses for the 12 days event and it's really cool because it's a printable film it's a transparent film that you print on in reverse and then you can place down on anything and it's a water resistant waterproof surface you can put it on shoes you can put it on um, jewelry you can do it on the coasters that I'm about to do it on you could do it on glasses there are so many different uses for this and it's just a lot of fun and then it really just takes on the life of whatever it is you apply it to so if you're using it in scrapbooking for example I know it's really hard to see on this picture but if you print out your photos on it and print them in reverse it actually takes on like the embossed and texture and color and feel of whatever it is you're working on so I can show you a lot of other examples of that it is available at above Ruby studio um, dot com but um, really what I just want to show you is that I'm gonna be doing some coasters from it I'm actually gonna make the um, I'll try to make the photo available I've been having some problems with my download button but we'll start with these first um, I printed out I just made four little sayings I just did simple clip art I made them square so that they fit on my four coasters I actually have a set of coasters that come in a little container already I actually picked it up at a craft store they were 50% off um, so a really reasonable little thing to have you know a nice little set of coasters together I'm gonna trim these out and you want to make sure that it's dry I think it's pretty dry here yeah. um, I just print it in my um, I have a Canon printer and I just made these with my um, one of my phone apps and then made the collage in an app called PicMonkey and um, reversed the images because you need to print them in reverse so that when you place the film down the ink is not exposed the ink is underneath so it keeps it totally water resistant waterproof and I'm gonna just cut these out and then I'm gonna make a set of wine glasses to go with the coasters it's just gonna be a super cute little gift set you can include it in a basket with a bottle of wine or you know you could do a hot chocolate you could do all kinds of fun Christmassy sayings you can do photos which would be really really cool to uh, for a grandparents gift you know do one of each of the grandkids or um, you know do just so many different things that really do take gift giving to the next level when you can add such a personal and custom feeling and it's not costing you a ton of money but it really looks very professional and like you you spend a fortune on it because Getting custom gifts are really expensive out there. Um, Britton has been doing a lot of, she's actually our featured mom today too. If you go over to AboveReviewStudio.com, we're featuring a new mom every day. Britton has been doing amazing things with custom gifts this year that she has been selling. And she started her own local business selling in boutiques and different awesome things. Um, you know, doing wine glasses, doing coasters, doing um, chargers, you know, all kinds of different things that Britton... Uh, has been offering and I just really wanted to share that with you guys to help inspire you and encourage you that you guys can you know make this happen and make this a reality for yourselves as well okay so the backing just comes off really easy before I remove the backing I'm gonna take some Elmer's extra strength glue stick and I'm just gonna place this down right on my coaster in an even coat as even as possible okay and then what I'm just gonna do is once it's glued I'm going to slowly place this down from one corner try to get it as centered as possible because it's not exactly the same size these squares are a little bit smaller so that they fit all four on one sheet but not a ton smaller and it just clings right on and it seals itself in with the film and the like I said, the reverse of it. And then if you grab a brayer or something like that, you can roll out any extra 
uh, little bubbles or anything but really with using this kind of glue stick this extra strength glue stick it is pretty smooth it is acid free it's photo safe it doesn't um, run any of the ink which is really cool and it just goes down super easy and nice so then you can just kind of press that out and look how cool that is it just takes on the life of the coaster it looks like it was printed directly on the coaster you can't even tell there's a film on there you really can't. It looks like it's just printed directly on there. And that's the same way when you do the shoes. Um, what else have we done? Bags, tote bags, there's quilts. Um, you know, there's just so many surfaces that the Craft Attitude works on, and it's so exciting and fun to play with. But just make sure you always print them in reverse, okay? Flip that image so that when you place it down, the right side is showing. strong coat. For uh, Mother's Day, I did a journal, a, um, what's that called? Um, moleskin journal. And I also did a pen. And then I also did a textured uh, bookmark. And it all matched together from the same piece of printed art. And my mom just loved it. And I put a picture of the kids and her on it. And it was just such a beautiful custom gift. And so unique. I've done jewelry pieces with this. It looks so cool on metals. I'm actually so impressed and surprised at how it looks on just regular um, aluminum foil. It is like the coolest thing when you laminate, heat set this, like heat laminate it to aluminum foil. It, it's amazing. So again, just you know, push out any little bubbles that may be in the film so that it looks like it's printed on there, not applied on there. And that's not very hard to do that how fun they just like and they go so fast too all right i'm going to finish up these other two really quick and then we're going to do our matching wine glasses or you know a fun wine glass to go along with it So there are all four of our wine coasters, which are so super cute. So super cute. All right, I'm just gonna stick them all, whoa, back inside their little um, coaster holder and I'll just remove those stickers later. Now what we're going to do is the Mod Podge glitter technique. I have some really cute um, different wine glasses. I actually picked up the, I picked this set up at Target, believe it or not. All three were in the dollar bins. Um, they were listed as $3, but they actually were 50% off. So I got all three wine glasses for $1.50, which was pretty cool. So I picked up a couple packs of those. Now what I'm going to do is grab some of my Martha Stewart Super Fine Ultra Fine Glitter and my Mod Podge. And I'm going to use the Glossy Mod Podge because I like that the best. And I'm going to use a ton of it. Um... And we'll go in stages, but what I'm gonna do is I taped off with blue painters tape the uh, goblet of my wine glass, and I'm just gonna paint the stem and the base with the Mod Podge. Get a good, nice coat on there. And I do the blue painters tape on everything just to protect my surface a little bit extra, um, especially when I'm working with glue, paint, glitter, etc. I like to have that protection. It's not like totally, totally necessary, but if you don't have a stable hand to get a straight line, you might want to consider doing it. Now there's a couple ways to do this. You can actually mix the glitter right into the Mod Podge if you want to do all the same colors and really get an in there, not going to rub off glittery mess kind of thing um, in less steps. But because I want to do different colors on every one and I don't want to do a whole bunch of batches of Mod Podge because I don't want to waste anything. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to grab my first color. This one is called, oh boy. I'm not sure what this one's called, but we're going to sprinkle it on here. Carmelian. And we're just going to sprinkle it on all over the wine glass where we have the Mod Podge. And you can kind of press it in really get it on there and then I'm just going to dump the excess right back into the bottle so nothing's wasted I'm not wasting any of my glitter 
Don't you worry. And then I'm going to do a couple coats of the Mod Podge on each glass. Okay, so I'll do probably one more coat of Mod Podge, another coat of glitter, and then finish it off with two more coats of Mod Podge once I'm all done. And then I picked out colors that I thought coordinated with the different colors of the um, set. So for example, like I have the blue here is going to go with this uh, turquoise color. It's kind of what I thought. Um, for the balanced meal, I want to set this down here. I have the like uh, fire opal. So they don't match exactly, like they're definitely way more glittery. But you can see, you know, it just sort of coordinates that you can almost have like a fun little set. So I thought the red went really well with this one. So that was my thought process on that. All right. Okay, so that should be dry enough that I can go ahead and do another coat. So once your initial coats of glitter and Mod Podge, Mod Podge dry, you're going to want to finish coating it really well with a couple extra layers of Mod Podge. I am using, like I said, that glossy, but that's going to really seal in your glitter. And that way they become a little bit more dishwasher safe and they're not, glitter is not getting all over the hands of the person that is drinking their glass of wine at the holidays or any time of year. These are great for any time of year. In my opinion, everything's better with glitter and wine. I'll just make sure that's as even as possible with as few stroke marks as possible. Just really even it out. This is my second coat of Mod Podge over top of the glitter dried. And you just really want to, you know, take your time, let it go slow, let it dry. And uh, you'll have beautiful, beautiful results. All right, and then once these glasses are finished drying, you just remove the uh, blue painter's tape and you have an awesome, awesome glittery wine uh, stem glasses and the really cool matching little wine coaster set. Uh, tie a cupo around it, put it in a basket, put a bottle of wine in it, do whatever you wish. Um, really make them customized with, you know, you can add some really cool vinyl, use the, um, <clears throat> art booking cartridge. The font in here is great like we showed you the other day for that uh, necklace that we made, that um, pendant necklace like these. And you can do really cute sayings and all kinds of stuff so you can grab your um, vinyl for that or anything else that you would like to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed today with uh, the 12 days at AboveRubyStudio.com and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for more prizes, giveaways, and don't forget to check out the deal of the day today. Uh, we are featuring the single nesting dies. Check out Britain's blog and website and support all those other crafting mamas. Get all your Christmas shopping done and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.